coming to the systemic effect of kidney with various organ system along with brain it plays a role in osmoregulation thirst ventilation through angiotensin and vasopressin with the heart and vascular system there can be alteration in blood pressure and cardiac rhythm which is done by your sympathetic system and atrial natriuretic factor and with the adrenal medulla it can alter the blood pressure and potassium which is mediated by aldosterone and through bone your calcium phosphate acid base hemostasis can be altered which is altered by fibroblast growth factor and with muscle metabolism potassium can be altered and through intestines calcium phosphate acid base hemostasis can be altered through vitamin d and along with liver metabolism and detoxification of toxin and drugs can happen with the hematopoietic system your tissue oxygenation through erythropoietin and along with lung your ventilation your acid base hemostasis can be altered so kidney can interact with various organ system and various alteration can happen inside the body coming to the systemic effect of end stage renal disease they can be cardiovascular dysfunction here you have to manage the blood pressure assess the cardiac risk and you have to manage the heart failure when there is electrolyte and metabolic disorders hyperkalemia can be countered with calcium salt and most important thing is your intravascular volume management coagulopathy here you can go with transfusion erythropoietin stimulating agents heparin free hemodialysis discontinuation of antiplatelet medication and disturbance of body equilibrium here you have to go with gold directed therapy stroke volume variation or mixed venous oxygen saturation and you have to use appropriate solution for fluid another important thing is pharmacological metabolism of the drug so you have to choose appropriate drug which is not metabolized or excreted in the kidney and coming for renal anemia the hemoglobin will be slightly low you can go for erythropoietic stimulating agents transfusion but another important thing is the patient might require transplant at a late age so you have to prevent allow immunization coming to the stages of chronic kidney disease stage 1 is there is chronic kidney disease but your glomerular filtration rate is normal but you might have proteinuria or hematuria and your gfr is greater than 90 in stage 2 you have mild kidney disease and other kidney damage here the gfr is between 60 to 89 stage 3 is moderate chronic kidney disease where your gfr is between 30 to 59 stage 4 is severe chronic kidney disease where the gfr is between 15 to 29 and end stage renal failure is that GFR is less than 15 or patient on dialysis or renal replacement therapy